Now, there are many Russian speakers living here in Germany. We wanted to find out how they feel about the war in Ukraine. A survey commissioned by BDW has revealed a spectrum of opinion. The survey was carried out by the research institute DMAP and polled people who were born in Russia or a former Soviet republic or have at least one parent of similar origin. A pro-Russian rally on the streets of Germany. Anti-war demonstrators vent their anger at Vladimir Putin. This is one community riven with tension and strongly divided over the invasion of Ukraine. Fourteen months into this war, opinions about who is to blame are still split. A poll by Deutsche Welle reveals that while nearly 40% of Russian speakers in Germany consider Russia to blame, a similar amount hold Ukraine in some way responsible for the war. This Berlin suburb is home to many of the Russian-speaking community. Who is to blame? Of course Russia. Did Russia attack or did Ukraine attack? Ukraine, Ukraine and Zelensky. Why? Because they should stick to the Russians and not look to the West. Americans? Americans? Who else? And also Europeans, Germans, everyone is to blame. Of course, Russia also bears the blame, but it clearly started somewhere else. Irina Schmidt spends her days trying to integrate Russian speakers into the community. She says the findings ring true to her experience. Those who have relatives or came from Russia, they, of course, support the Russian side. Those from Ukraine or the younger generation understand this conflict. Who has attacked and who is defending? That's why there is this divide. Asked about their opinion of Russian President Vladimir Putin since the start of the war, a small number of respondents said he had gone up in their estimation, while around 65 per cent said their views of him had changed negatively. How do I see Putin? I can only see him as an enemy. What else? They have destroyed our cities. In Putin's time, Russia has risen up. Before, it used to be on its knees. It changed negatively, of course. To whom? Russia, Russians or Putin? To the politicians who started all of this. The average Russian doesn't need this war. But it seems for as long as there is a war, this is a community that looks unable to reconcile facts and feelings. More on this, I'm joined now by our political correspondent, Thomas Sparrow. Thomas, opinion is fairly evenly divided among Germany's Russian-speaking community on who's to blame for the war in Ukraine. Is that surprising? I wouldn't necessarily say it's surprising, but I would say it's very interesting and it's also very important to generally look at how immigrant communities think about developments in their own country, in this particular case, in Russia. And there are two things, two aspects that I would certainly highlight about this survey. One, that a majority of those surveyed believes that Russia is either partially or totally to blame for this war. A second element is that also a majority think that their view of Russian President Vladimir Putin has changed negatively a lot, or not a lot, but it has indeed for them changed negatively. And these are two elements that really explain why there might be a difference between this immigrant community here in Germany and some in Russia. Now, when you ask experts about this, when you try and understand why this is the case, there are different elements that are discussed. Again, I would like to highlight one that has been mentioned by several experts, namely the access to communication, the access to news sources that for many here in Germany can be much more varied than, let's say, in Russia. For many here in Germany can also include reports on alleged atrocities committed by Russian forces. So that can obviously play a role in what people here in this country think about what's happening back home for them in Russia. What about uh, the way Russian speakers in Germany think about the role Germany is playing in this conflict, Thomas? What does this survey tell us about that? And that is obviously, Terry, another very important element. It's not only about what they think 
compared to their own home country. It's also what they think compared to Germans here. So the general view in Germany, let's say. And many of those who were surveyed actually think that the relationship between the immigrant community and Germans has worsened in the last year, has worsened since the war, since the war began. That is also something particularly interesting. And there does seem to be a division when you ask them what Germany's role should be in this whole scenario. Some believe that Germany should actually strengthen again cooperation with Russia. But on the other hand, there are those who believe that Germany should strengthen cooperation with Ukraine instead. So as we saw in that report, a community that in many aspects is indeed divided. Thomas, thank you very much. Our political correspondent, Thomas Sparrow.